Thai girls or Filipinas? What is best? To compare Thai girls and Filipinas, I made the following cheat list. Here are the top 11 points to consider about Thailand. Number 1. Great infrastructure, roads, and electric sky train that works. Number 2. Free internet access points all over the city. 3. Great shopping selections and reasonable prices. Number 4. Delicious Thai food everywhere. Number 5. Foreigner friendly Thai girls with a day job. In other words, real girls or normal girls that do not work at night or in the entertainment business trying to scam tourists for money. However, Thai girls seem to be a little harder to seduce and bed than Filipinas. In Thailand there are lots of Japanese tourists and this is a chance to meet some Asian females with a bigger travel budget. When you walk around in Bangkok, you will see lots of stunning Thai girls. They look just like they stepped out of a fashion magazine. And in my opinion, having traveled to both Philippines and Thailand, uh, Thailand girls spend more money on clothing and grooming than Filipinas. In Thailand, the taxis don't look like they're falling apart. And the average taxi fare is only about $1.50 US dollar. Streets are normally safe for walking day or night in almost, and I would say, any part of Bangkok. Thai girls don't always understand what you're saying when you use English. And uh, you might even understand less what they are saying in English. The top eight points to consider about Philippines. Number one, extremely friendly and sexy Filipina girls, but most of them are dirt poor. Some parts of Philippines, like Makati City, are safe, but other areas of Manila are not safe. In the Philippines, you are quite often hassled by beggars and kids asking for money at traffic stops or on the streets. Number four, Filipina girls are generally short. Average height is only around four feet, 11 inches. So if you are a tall foreigner, six feet or above, um, you may want to consider this. Number five, Filipinas are cute and sometimes they have mixed European and Chinese blood, which makes them look even more cute. They do have slums in the Philippines and some poor people are scamming foreigners and trying to make a living from them uh, through the internet. Number seven. Some taxis in the Philippines have rigged meters, so you'd be overpaying. And sometimes the cab drivers love to take you for a little side trip, make a, a longer turn around the city to earn a little extra cash on the meter. Number eight, a big plus with the Philippines is that everyone speaks English. You never have trouble with communication in terms of language. So tell me, where would you like to live? Thailand or Philippines? Do you prefer living in a country where the girls are tall and things and infrastructure work most of the time? like electricity, and the internet, phone, service, etc. Or do you prefer a country with lots of short, cute girls, but they are extremely friendly? And the infrastructure is not that great, uh, except perhaps in the bubble of Makati in Manila. What do you think? Leave a comment below this video and tell me what you think of these points. If you are interested, you can get a 100% free membership and start meeting people on meetasiangirl.com right now. 
And who knows, perhaps I will retire to the Philippines. It seems like a good place. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to get automatic email updates by going to meetasiangirl.com forward slash blog.